After an extended sold out run at the public, Sops is coming to Broadway this spring. It's the epic and timely musical about the women's suffrage movement. With a powerhouse producing team, Sops features a book, music and lyrics by Shana Taub. Here's Beth Stevens. So Shana, tell me what it was like to be in the room doing the photo shoot with all of those other people who are about to make a big splash on Broadway. It was so special. What I've always loved about doing theater in New York is being part of the community. It really feels like I got my start doing community theater in rural Vermont, and it feels in a way, even though the stakes feel higher, it hasn't changed that, that like communal spirit. Everyone is doing theater because they love it for the love of the game. So it's so, so fun to like meet other people who are as excited as I am and to be a part of a, a, something bigger than just our one show. You have had so many accolades and albums, and but now it's Broadway, finally, which feels to me like a really big step. Does it feel that way to you too? Yeah, it feels surreal to get to really do it on my own terms. It's always been a dream, but I don't think I ever imagined it would be with my own show really getting to say the thing I wanted to say, so that's really meaningful. Well, you are part of an elite group of people who wrote their own show and get to star in it. So do you think that like Sarah Bareilles and Lin-Manuel Miranda are sick of being compared to you? Oh, please, oh my God, what? what an honor to even be spoken in the same sentence as those two. I used to think I needed to kind of choose one path, but seeing people like Sarah and like Lynn and even, you know, like Anais, Anais Mitchell, singer, songwriter, performing her own music, I was like, oh, maybe I don't need to like choose a lane. I can kind of be a full artist and bring my whole self to, to that. Keep marching, keep marching. Will you fail or prevail? Well, you may never know. So I know you've worked on this show a lot, but tell me if you can bring us back to what sparked the first idea for you for when you wanted to work on this piece. Yeah, well one of our lead producers, Rachel Sussman, sat me down almost 10 years ago this spring and asked me what I knew about the American women's suffrage movement, to which I said, uh, Susan B. Anthony, like a uh, women's rights convention in the 1800s, and she blew my mind by starting to tell me about this history. And I think that what the spark was, was that I'd been searching for this. I'd been searching for a story about a group of girls kind of like taking on a system or, you know, and I, I was looking for, for source material and it was like, there it was. And it was right in my own backyard and it had yet to be dramatized in a major way. So I kind of couldn't believe it. I sort of thought, okay, well, the natural conflict here is between the SUFs and all the forces against them. The, the presidential administration, the public, the press, the male dominated systems of power in this country. And yet I thought that might be a little too easy. I don't want an audience to come in and think, oh, I know whose side I'm on. I know who's right. I know who's gonna win. What was far more interesting to me were the internal conflicts within a group that want the same thing. Between the older SUFs, the younger SUFs. Between SUFs of different race, class, uh, political affiliations, all sorts of things. So I was like, ooh, that's where the juice is, of where it's not so simple, you know? So that, that got me excited, that I could also locate the story centered even more on the women if the central conflict was between the women. Well, that all added up because you caught <laughs> the attention of some very important people, including Nobel Prize laureate Malala, Secretary of State Hillary Clinton. Yes. They are now on your producing team. So how does it feel for you to know that you've impacted people of that stature? Surreal, pinching myself, and so, so amazing to me. And just meaningful that they, these two women who I've looked up to for so long, I mean, Secretary Clinton my whole life, and Malala watching her advocacy for all these years, to think that we as as the show could sort of be a part of joining in these missions for fighting for women's rights and human's rights with all of their wisdom and passion. It just, in some ways it's so surreal and in other ways it feels so right. There's just something of like, it's we're all fighting the same fight, you know, and to get to have them be a part of it with us and to learn from them is an honor.